making sure we save a little bit of bandwidth there. I went downstairs, had to turn off my call. So if you're here with Google Classroom, awesome. If you are here to just enjoy the story with us, welcome. All right, so we're at the beginning of chapter three. Hot damn, we are good! Yes. <laughs> and the crew has gotten zero. back to their city. One step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, right. Right. Uh, hmm. Now get some on uh You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She worry. All right, here we go. So we are in Sector Seven, the Undercity. And if you recall, we were in another sector, and we were trying to destroy that Mako reactor. And we did. That was the first level. But then, on the second level, we came in, and we were trying to escape all of that. And if you recall, some of you didn't get a chance to finish Chapter 2, though. Uh, it was a struggle. And you got a chance to see a few characters, like Aerith who gave Cloud this yellow flower. And you get a chance to see the, maybe a little different side of Barrett, the big guy with the gun on the hand. He's talking about, you know, um, wanting to save the world, and he's trying to make sure that Cloud is um, going to help them. But at the same time, we realize Cloud doesn't really care. But we've met someone named Tifa, who I think is supposed to be connecting Cloud with the group somehow, but we just didn't see her. Ooh, what? That was us. And you know, at the very end of level two, the team ends up rallying up together after leaving the burning city, and they get to the railroad cart, and they ride into town, and that's how we get here. Never felt the ground so this looks like sector seven, right? I believe that's what we're that's where we're at. Um, and this might be a home base for a little bit. We're in we're in chapter three, so it might be that we need to learn a little bit more about the town itself. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet. Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down in their back. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steel work. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> what the? You okay, buddy? <laughs> Mako junkie, huh? Figures. Oh, okay. Also in chapter two, we saw that these ghosts were following Aerith the girl with the yellow flower and as soon as Aerith had touched Cloud, Cloud then could see the ghost so something to kind of keep in mind as we move around. Hey look here's enough. our buddies. I can barely tell we want to get home. I mean we've just been through that sweat. crazy experience. When I get back it's refueling time. And you Jesse? I don't know. Figure out how I screwed up? <laughs> You're such a kidder. Sector 7 the slums. This is where our characters live. Hmm. Okay. Well, welcome to Sector 7. Let's take a look at... Yikes. These people are not happy about what's happened. Oh, hello. That's 
right, Angel? I Welcome am. back. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I've been helping <laughs> Tifa. Oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. <laughs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. Has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Oh, wow, like a little softer side of Barrett. Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. I mean, sure. Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. All right. Hello. Hello. Huh. I mean, did you think Barrett would have such a sweet little daughter? <laughs> hey! What the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. Huh? That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, daddy. Mm, all right. But just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that, we should talk outside. <sighs> um, Daddy, did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Let that be a lesson to you. All right, what, what is happening? So originally... Before we get on to money... There's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? Looks like Tifa has was... a few of the gloves I gave her from the last playthrough of the game. Into all this. It, was it was wrong of me to put you in danger that like that. News. I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. <laughs> so, you make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. Alright. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. They'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. One of my friends said so they saw it burning. It wasn't that bad? That reactors were it was. Oh, right. And here okay. we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room okay. 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with 7th Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. 
All right. Sounds good. We're making some progress. The guy just wants to get some sleep, man. We just had like one heck of a it's last a two there, levels. But should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course. As long as you help, that is. Wait. Then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No. Two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. Boom. <sighs> okay, well, we just. <laughs> where's our money? But I want my money. Poor Cloud. He's like, why are you giving me the runaround? I knew something was up, it just felt like we weren't going to get paid. Bear. Hold on, hold on. Guess it's time for introductions. Interesting. <clears throat> I don't know what this is. I know, is, is Cloud greedy, hey, or is he, is he okay kind of grumpy? Like, what is happening now? Coming in. Uh, guys? There's that guy again. The silver-haired, seven-foot... Make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. <sighs> what? I don't know, man. What was the 49 on his shoulder all about? And what was that flashback that brought back that silver-haired guy? Who looks terrifying. <sighs> Alright, I'm not sure what just happened to us. Maybe you can elaborate. What do you think just happened, chat? Like, did, is that guy part of the bigger story? Is this guy just some... Like, what was that flashback where they were like, reunion, reunion? I don't know. I don't know. Well now, you must be Cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything, even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. The hair is awesome. 
hair is super cool. Alright, seventh heaven. Let's go. Thank you. Nice to meet you, lady. My husband decided Just imagine it. Seventh heaven. I gotta go to seventh heaven. So let me just stop and show you. Lower society lives down here. The actual upper society quite literally lives up above in these plates. And you can see the sector that blew up before. So crowded because everyone else is stuck down here. A friend of mine's an aspired. Don't take your eyes off. Seventh heaven. All right. There are so many people. What do we got? Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <sighs> Let's get down to business, shall we? Her? These water filters won't replace themselves. <laughs> Although the next batch probably could, if Jesse put her mind to it. Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? Uh, Please? <sighs> Let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. Perfect. Looks like we're gonna go on a few little mini missions, huh? All right, so that's Go Tifa. Whatever we collect. Tifa seems Seeing to be the girl from. Any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. <laughs> and don't worry, we'll pay the difference after. Barrett's out making his rounds too. As long as I get it all today. Out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to. Wait, let me see. Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. Huh? Cloud! Uh, since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look. What could I buy? Is there any items I'd like? Nah, nothing I want. Nothing to tickle your fancy? If you change your mind, you know where I am. That goes for you too, Tifa. We'll see you around, okay? And let us know when your filter next needs changing. <laughs> <sighs> What's a girl like Tifa doing running around with a gun? Like? <laughs> hey. Hey, pal. <clears throat> All the items you can want. He's a regular. Stock up here, and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe. Well, you could try being a little nicer. <laughs> to get free shit? Not my style. <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's a client. Just met her. Okay. Then you know what to expect. Remember. She's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please. All right, here we go. Can't help but take we are meeting in their panic. a bunch of people. Apparently it was done by a terrorist no. group called Avalanche. This what? isn't the first time they've caused trouble. I've seen them on the news before. Hey, we didn't do anything wrong. They said the news said that Avalanche had done something. We're, this group that we're with is called Avalanche. Hey, Marl. Got some filters for you. Tifa, my dear, dear girl. Oh, what's he doing here? Working? Be nice. <laughs> Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit, big sword, but no skills. I've got skills. Be nice. I'm doing my best. You're <laughs> looking awfully glum. 
Are you getting enough sleep? A good long rest to cure anything, I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor, am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Thanks, Marl. You take care of yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Alright. <clears throat> We're collecting money. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go, go, go. Go, go, Marl's go. great. She helped get me set up back in the day. You been here a while now? Five years, give or take. Mm. But never mind that. We've got to get you your money. Last stop is the weapons the store. Don't start moving again. For goods to go around. You here for the filter? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that last filter didn't do shit. We're so sorry about that. Hopefully, this one will work better. Save your excuses and get out. All right. If you could just settle your bill, we'll be on our way. The hell? You charging me for your busted ass goods? My associate handles payment disputes. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? Pretty please. <laughs> Thank you very much. Seeing as we're done with our rounds and you've got a small fortune now, why not take a gander at the weapons? Well, when will Barrett be back with the rest? <sighs> Before we open up tonight, it'll be a while yet, so what do you want to do? What should we do? Don't really know. In that case, I've got a suggestion. Want to hear it? If All you're right. serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. It's not what you know, but who you know. <laughs> Pretty please. Hmm. I know. For life on the ground floor. Yep. Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. It's true. And more rep gets you better connections. Boom. How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the neighborhood watch? They're mostly volunteers, but you'll get to know people. Yeah, okay. Didn't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. Okay. Sounds good. We're making keep some. You and your family safe and with a weapon of your own. <laughs> Come and check out our selection. Speak with our friendly staff to find the perfect weapon. All right. Where'd Tifa go? Uh, Tifa, run around this way. Tifa. Gotta stay focused. Maybe I gotta go up here. I don't know. Everybody does. We keep putting Oops. What's up, Tifa? We gotta go in here. Huh. Oh yeah. Didn't know you were holding down the fort. Huh? Oh hey, Cloud. Um, Looking to join the neighborhood watch? That depends. What does this neighborhood watch do? Uh, lots of stuff, really. But our top priority is taking care of any beasts that wander into town. That and teaching the locals how to defend themselves. Like they say, the only one who will look out for you is you. Cloud's a great fighter, but only we know that. If no one knows him, no one will hire him. Thought if he joined the watch, he could get his name out there. That would work for everybody. Truth be told, we could really use your help. We can't pay you in Gil, but we'll work something out. For example... Aha! What about your sword? I could mod it for you. No thanks. It's fine just the way it is. What? You some kind of purist? I know I'd never pass up a chance to improve my gear. Come on. At least let me show you how it's done. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> now I'm rocking a few swords and things that I got towards the end of the game last run. All set? Needless to say, you'll have to try it out to appreciate the difference. Thanks. <laughs> we'll do you one better. Spread the word to everyone who'll listen about the new Merc in town. Between him and Wedge, there isn't anyone they don't know. I'll march through the streets singing your praises, even on an empty stomach. So, where are these monsters? Scrap Boulevard. Good hunting. Hey, Cloud, I'll come with. No, I've got this. But Hi. you don't know the way, do you? We don't. <laughs> sure thing. I know these streets better than anyone. All right. Show me the monsters. Let's go rep this place. Let's go. First period. 
media literacy throughout the day, we're gonna go try and fight some monsters. We gotta go rep this town. We gotta show everybody we're a good person. Here we go. We got this. Scrap Boulevard is out west. Past the barricades, supposed to keep the monsters out. Anyway, we should prepare just in case. No way. I'm ready to destroy these fools. Here's Scrap Boulevard. I can see why monsters are feel right at home. And the more we pile up, the more they show up. And there's our first challenger. Show me what you right. Where are these wow. monsters? So that's what a soldier looks like in action. Tifa, this you were war. not on the last level. Not you have bad. no idea how yeah, crazy it was. It. We gotta run around. Keep it together. Okay, let's go. Let's go loop back around. Should we go back You're here? This. Heck yeah. in like it was nothing. You too. Uh, it's a surprise. Well, I've been here five years now. If you don't look out for yourself, no one else will. There By you the go. Way, you gotta look out for yourself. Gonna be on the test. This is a lesson. Gotta learn Take if you're gonna stick around. Okay. Ha! Enough. Ha! Bye. All right. Let's go, Tifa. Good work. Good work. All right. I think that might be the last of them. Let's get a little pre-workout. Of course not. Even so, folks will be grateful for the peace and quiet in the meantime. A win's a win, you know? A win's a win. True. I like Trust this me, relationship developing here. It looks like right. they know Let's each other for sure, because Tifa's wedge. looking out for him. You know, she's like, hey man, I know you're not super social. Like, hang out with me. Like, hey, I know you need some help. Like, Tifa seems to be pretty welcoming. Very cool. All right, helping out the town. Doesn't look. Hey, did you say that? Come on. Hey, man, I'm a merc. Look at this guy. He's. Thanks, buddy. Oh, I gotta go up here. I think. Let's go tell the the group what I've done. Wait, are they even here? <laughs> Back already? Got every last one too. Now the slum should be safe. You guys are machines. Good job. Meanwhile, we told everyone we could about you. So I heard. I've got to ask though. What did you tell them? It's all right. All you got to do is keep up the good work. It'll pay off soon enough. All I right. promise. How's the sword, by the way? Yeah, I was lighting people up, buddy. Good. Thanks, Biggs. Now, I, I have a bunch of different Glad swords to we're going to use. When we get into some crazier times, I will start yeah. switching out our weapons and material for now. Oh, no. What's happening? Uh, you okay? I'm fine. I'm not sure what keeps happening to him, but he has these, like, visions and these, like... To ask. After you left the village... It's a long story. I've got time. Why don't you tell me all about it while we try to wrestle up some more work for you? That sounds great. I'll come too. Oh, uh, no, you won't. What? Run along now, you two. Uh, sorry, Go on. maybe uh. next time. Huh? No fair. Uh, think about it for a second. They haven't seen each other in years. You'd be a third wheel. Uh, uh. Since you've got yourself a new weapon, let's see if we can't put it to good use. Come on. Let's go chat up Weimer. Who? All right. The guy who tracks all the requests that come to the watch. You okay. never know. Could toss some work your way. Where's he at? Oh, he should be back at the office by now. Okay. What? Let's go check it out. Touchy subject and all. It's you! You're the merc everybody's talking about. Am I right? Yeah. I knew 
knew it! So, the board here tracks how many monsters folks have taken down, right? A bigger number means a safer town, and who wouldn't want that? Just between you and me, though, they're pretty much all your kills. Cool, huh? Anyway, keep up the good work. We'll try to make it worth your while. All right. Confirm. Very cool, very cool. Who's this guy? Uh, hey there, Chiva. Hi, Weimer. You need a helping hand? Actually, I wanted to introduce you to an old friend of mine. This is Cloud. He's a merc. Ah, you don't say. Well, we're always on the lookout for experienced fighters to help us deal with the bigger critters. Okay. I'll take on anything. For the right price, that is. Experienced and cocky, huh? If it's a challenge you want, I might have a few good ones. Your clients can fill you in on the details. Prove yourself at these jobs, and I'll see if I can't find you some more. Thanks. Fair enough. Chad leaves report. Wow! You were the first to gather the data I requested. Here is the rest of your payment. I have developed new materia. Would you like to see it? Yes, I, I would. I plan to develop more materia in the future. Together, we can harness enough power to take down Shinra. I'll keep repairing more battle intel reports, which I hope you will assist me in completing. Okay, buddy. Sweet. That went well. Could be you found your calling. Eh. Was all right, I guess. Think of each job as an opportunity. Not to make money, but to build connections. It's not what you know, but who. <laughs> you remembered. Not a patient teacher. There you go. <laughs> Speaking of patient teachers. Time. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, Barrett should have finished collecting his share of the money by now. So what do you want to do? Head back to the bar? Yep. Let's go back to the bar. We have a lot of missions we could do, but we're going to go to the bar right now. And we're going to... That's 7th Heaven. And we're going to check it out and see if we can progress the story. Something's wrong. Yeah, I don't know what's happening over there. stole some blaster data from a you. Shinra warehouse. So public security started asking questions, and you know how Johnny gets. It's because of the reactor bombing, I bet. I could be wrong, but something tells me they're not going to settle for just roughing him up this time. We've got to save him, Cloud. Is he Avalanche? No. He doesn't really know what we do. But he has his suspicions. And he's a talker. Oh, we gotta stop this guy you know from what? talking. Maybe I should go alone. I'm coming. Uh, are you sure? It's the least I can do. Okay. We better go save this guy. Let's go. Come, Come on, on media literacy. We can't let this guy tell on us. We have to make sure we take care of our alibis here. We're trying to do good stuff. We can't let this guy. I don't think he knows anything, but let's make sure he's good. Guy's a wild dude. He's like, don't hurt me. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Any way to treat a model citizen of Midgard? Model citizens don't steal blasting agent. So why don't you tell me why your ID popped when we were going over the warehouse laws? Huh? You got it all wrong. I've never gone anywhere near a Shinra warehouse. I 
I swear. All he had to do was keep his mouth shut. Yep. Anyway, you distract the officers and I'll figure something out. Alright. We'll have to figure out something. We don't want to get Tifa and the guys in trouble. We need to make sure that we Let are good. Go. Hmm? Who are you? The cavalry? Huh? Is that, is that who I think it is? Oh, hell yeah! You guys really came to save me! Ow! Oh, no! <laughs> hey! What do you think you're doing? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with that. All set! Finish him off! Come on, let's go, Tifa. We gotta get this chapter out of the way and save our buddy. Nice. Good work. <laughs> oh, man. What now? He's a talker. Huh? Whoa. Whoa! No! Uh, you're not gonna... Hold up! Wait! Don't, don't do it, man! You wanna live? Then get the hell out of town. <laughs> you, you got it, boss! You ain't never gonna see my face again. <laughs> Look at these running off. <laughs> Are you sure about this? It's a big risk. I know, but it's fine. Oh my gosh. And them? No more. Cloud, you're scaring me. We need to go before they wake up. All right, we've been making some serious progress. Good job so far. We're gonna try and get back I, to the main menu. I'm worried about Johnny. See if we can get back I'm to the bar. I'm worried about us. We gotta go, right? Right. What? It's just, you've really changed. How? I suppose it's, yeah, your eyes. They used to be less. It's the Mako, soldier, remember? I remember. So what do you want to do now? Head back to the bar or do you want to tackle another job or two? Go to the bar. Go to the bar. Oh, where is the bar? Let's go to the bar. And we will settle up this level. Thank you for attending class here so far. Really appreciate you all. Uh, hope you had a good time learning with us today. Um, we're trying to finish up chapter three. And we're pretty close. We're going to get into the bar here. And uh, we're going to make some moves. And here we are. You must be tired. Same as you, I guess. Could use a little something to take the edge off, right? How about a refreshing cocktail made by yours truly that you can sit back and savor? Tifa. Yeah, I'm feeling it a bit too. Hey. Do you think you'll stick around a little longer? Okay, interesting stuff. Maybe. Work for a minute, build up some savings. I see. In that case, want to head back out and look for more gigs? Nah. I think we're good to go there. Man, awesome. Oh, what's up? Look, he came from the bottom of the floor. Have fun. <laughs> Lots of fun. Oh, the hey, little girl is so downstairs. cute. Uh, right now? Then the plan is. Marlene, want to go wait for Jesse out front? All right, okay. we're about to finish it up here. Thanks for your patience so far. Just a little bit more. Looks like we're officially on for tomorrow night. Then, gotta go over the details with the others. Before you do, about my pay. You'll get your money. Oh my gosh, you so really want this money? Up until we're finished. Double time, Tifa. Wow. Oh, 
I'm really sorry, but it shouldn't take Pay much the man. In the meantime, <laughs> grab a seat. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. What'll it be? Something hard. I don't know. Something hard and bitter. <laughs> Okay, I can I can dig, I can dig. Very cool, very cool. Well, most people would say something sweet right about now. I'm sure they would. Ah, uh, but you're a more discerning customer, aren't you? In which case, How special the Cosmo Canyon the Cosmo Canyon beautiful <laughs> I gotta go <sighs> enjoy awesome what a defining level three it looks like we have a lot to swallow, a lot to think about here as... Hey, you see the news? The reactor bombing was the work of the eco-extremist group Avalanche. All these Public groups, all these one. people, they Gets all want to... They have such a it? greater Getting story to them. So I want to know what's going now, on. But we'll want to capitalize on this momentum. Speaking of which, you coming on the next one? For the right price. Oh, you can bet I'll be pushing hard for a raise. Tifa will be joining us too, but I don't know. Even a blind man can see her heart's not in it. She was never on board with the bombings, so if it comes down to do or die, if I've got to put my life in someone else's hands, then I'd rather that someone was a professional, like you. Man, that's some defining words from Jessie. She's willing to put her absolute it's life on the so line? Hard. Wow. Very cool. All right, Mrs. Savage, how much time we got? We might have to start our next class here. I want to make sure we're all good to go. Um, I'll go. Thank you very much for a great first period. And we're going to be enjoying media literacy all day. So thank you very much and take care. Perfect. Enjoy your second period and media literacy. Stay with us. We will be hanging out and continuing our journey. Thank you very much and have a good class period. We're going to hang out here on the stream. You guys are free to go and get to your next class. Mr. Savage. We're going to start our next class. The real deal, huh? All right, folks, thank you very much for tuning in today. We will catch you all tomorrow. No, Monday. Bye. Okay, we will hold off there.